All right, good stuff. Okay, good. Here we go. Got a couple of requests as well, but we'll get through those as we come along to do the class. First off, let's get some oxygen into the tissues, guys. All right. Get nice and stable. A little bit of Del Boy left and right. Oh, keep the feet up. That settles us all down. All right. Then take the hands up and out. Turn those hands up, breathe in. Exhale down to the heart and hold the thumbs there and just relax, guys. Keep the good posture, but keep the thumbs above the heart and just relax. Let me adjust that light because I look really ill when that's really bright, as well as be looking like I'm being interrogated by you all. Okay. Squish them out, guys. Saturday morning stretch. Gently reach for the walls. Not thrusting the hands out. Try, I can touch the walls, Popeye style. Gently easing it out. Rotate the hands up as palms facing the ceiling. But keep the hand rotating to the rear. Even when it stops, think about it rotating. You know, when we're stretching and we get a bit stuck and the muscle won't go any further, if we think about activating that muscle, it helps and it does work. Big deep breath in. Exhale to the heart, elbows high. Here we go, three second isometric warm up push in. Go, two, three, only 80%, guys. Hook the hands over, pull apart, go. And relax and arc that down, hands to the side, lean over left or right, anywhere you want to for the stretch in the waist and don't go any further. And just hold that there. Approximately eight seconds. Two, one, up we come, over the other way. And bring it back up again, hold the thumb. Rotate the shoulders forward and rotate them to the rear. Got it. Okay. Good stuff, guys. Okay. Oh, I like that. Take the hands up and out, palms facing me. The double voice fit club welcome. Lean back, not full banana shape. Just enough so it's gravity starts taking hands around. You feel the pecs up here. As soon as you feel that stretch there, like doing the side bend, stop, don't go any further. Just hold that there. Now come back upright. We're going to arc those hands down, Tommy Cooper the shoulders, any way you want to, jumbly shoulders, I suppose. Okay, so the fingers and the grip, I've asked this, this because people, some people look after their mum's dad's and stuff like that, okay? Right, you bring the fingers together, it's an isometric thing, and you just squeeze the fingertips, you squeeze. Okay, so I'm just to there, look, they're the crocodiles, aren't they? And all I'm doing is, I'm just fingertips, just squeezing, that's all. Right, so the fingernails will go white. Now, if you're showing somebody this one, I know one of you are, one of you is, are, ism, all right? White to the fingernails, they're pressing enough. Release, wiggle the fingers, wiggle them. Rotate them around, so you're getting the stretch in there as well, and we're getting that, 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 that the um, fluids back in again. Rub the back of the wrist into there again. Then we come out, fingertips, squeeze. Watch their fingernail beds when they turn white, they're pressing enough because some people you say 80% they're like what the hell is 80% and they'll be like monster faces okay as long as they go white that's enough 10 seconds release wiggle the fingers rotate them back and forth any with hand injuries really good thing to do as well and rub because the grip yes we know it comes from the flex extensors but these are the little the digits going nimble haven't they one more we don't do it three times through squeeze again fingernail beds going white you can feel that grip improving. It's a grip. Remember, grip is a fitness test for everybody. And relax with them. Why don't we do it then? Because for some unknown reason, the people have got it into their heads that we start losing the grip as we start getting old. So we'll start testing people when they get old. The grip test should be done all the way through our life, guys. Wiggle it round. Good. Liking that one. That's done. So one request done. So we're happy with that. Let's bring the pointy fingers out. Concrete trousers on, three times either side. The good old-fashioned bean fit one. And we're going to get a measure of where we are. I've got to... Now, stop and come back. I've got a bit of tightness down the lat. That's from an exercise. That's from a session I did yesterday. All right? And back there, this side. So I've got equal, both sides, which is good. And I've had it on one side. It's one of my lats was a bit tight. The other one wasn't. Then that is something he's looking at, potential injury. But when it's equal on both sides of the body, it's a good sign, put it out, it's more of a good sign. 
Last one this side. I'm gently easing it up and out, bringing it back and round again. Oh, that's better. Bringing that one back to there. There's one thing you do after this, relax those shoulders down, arc the hands down, shake the hands out, hold the thumb, rotate the shoulders forwards twice or three. Oh, I've got a tingly feeling down the spine, hands up and out, turn the hands up, breathe in. Keep the hands there as we exhale down, whites of the eyes, soft elbows, fingertips together again. Don't push the fingertips in, not isometrics. On the exhalation, reach for the ceiling, breathe in. Exhale, push up. Just keep the fingertips in, nice and light, 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 light. And that there takes it right down the back. Oh, that feels good, doesn't it? Hold it, lateral thoracic breathing. Feel the abs getting sucked in. It's first thing in the morning, so they're going to come in even more. Breathe in. Exhale, push up again. Just the fingertips. Look at that. We're all about 13 foot. Stretch your arms strong. Remember him. Breathe in. Exhale, long arms and bring them all the way down, big circles. All the way around and out. Good, liking that one, guys. Hands to the side. Bring the feet out. One more little step either side. Semi sumo, if you like, just off of that one. Hands to the side. Lean over any side you want to. Long arm down the side. We're going to take this to 15. We're going to break it down. Take it to 15, then pause and hold. Don't lean forwards from the hips. 30% abs and pelvic floor. Little teapot handle comes to the side of the body. Look what happens there, we get a little, the body releases, we get a little bit more movement. Big deep breath in. Exhale. We get a little bit more movement. Under the teapot handle, coming over the head. Curve the hand over, imagine you string out the fingers. Here we go. Big deep breath in. Hold. Exhale. We get a little bit more. For a reset, two, one, coming back up, Freddie Mercury style, keep the finger pointed up towards the sky and hold that there. Let this side recover a little bit. We're going to go straight into that one where you, the one where you get feel the rib cage coming out the side. We like that one, don't we? Breathe in. Exhale. Off we go, nice and slowly. And you're going to your maximum. If your screen is on gallery, don't look and think, oh, look, I've got to get the same as you haven't. You're going to your 15. Good. Big deep breath in for a hold. Two, three. Exhale. Oh, more movement. Lots of thoracic breathing. Slowly come back up, guys, and take that finger arcing all the way down and round. Doesn't the body feel good? Bring the hands to here, like an Indian chief, if you like. Nice and slowly. Just rotating round there. So feel how one side of the spine is different to the other, because one side's been stretched out, the other hasn't. Last one that side. Last one this side. Back to here, whites of the eyes, hands to the side. Inhale, exhale, and over we go this side. I'm gonna bounce that body off there. So with the feet being semi-sumo, feel your ductors reacting, we're taking them right down. So if the ductors are reacting, it means we're going down through the pelvic floor. We're getting maximum out of it. It's a morning stretch, the one and only, so why wouldn't we? Teapot handle, nice and gently up the side. That's the thoracic breathing. Long arms creeping down the side of the body. Taking the hand nice and straight above the head. Then curve those fingers all the way. Imagine you string out the hands, big deep breath in. Exhale. Oh, I've got clicks and groans going on. Over we go. And that's just BB in the hallway. Okay, good. Over we go. For a hold. Breathe in. Three, two, one. Exhale. Oh, good. That's a thoracic breathing, guys. Freddie Mercury style. Back up nice and straight, pointing towards the sky, and we hold. Let the body bounce off, let it recover a little bit. And back in again, breathe in, exhale, and over we go, there, right the way over. Oh, that feels fantastic, doesn't it? Nearly done with this one, let's put it to bed, breathe in, hold, three, two, one, exhale, 
that's a thoracic breathing. Reset up nice and slowly, guys. Keep the pointy finger there for a second. And now arc it all the way down, hold the thumbs, rotate the shoulders forward and rotate through. Do you notice on that first movement, first shoulder felt a bit tired when it came back up. On the second one, it didn't. That's your muscle memory kicking in. All right, getting everything sorted and everything. Keeping the feet where they are, bring them to railway tracks, nice and straight, hands to the hips, and bring those, I've got string on your hips now, pull it forward, you pull mine forward, tip, but look at it, so don't tilt the head back, just bring the hips forward, and the glutes are gonna engage, nice and tight, all right? Bring it back, release that string, bring it back to upright position. Forwards again, bring it forwards, the glutes are gonna engage, and if, the, if you're again, take the 100% if you can, squeeze, 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 bring it back again, good. Last one, pull it forwards, there, and squeeze, because Pilates is moving, going on, but Pilates a bit of yoga as well. Release, bring them that back down. Good. Hands up and out. Titanic bows of the ship. Leaning back, banana shape, guys. Nice and gently and slowly. Hands are open, palms towards the ceiling. Somebody could come into the room now, and I bet there's some joker listening, thinking I'll do that. And put a glass of water on your forehead, and it's not going to spill. Just hold that position there. On the inhalation, let the arms go to the rear. Breathe in. Then just exhale, don't hold the breath. That's a thoracic breathing. Bring those scapulas together. Let Mother Nature take over. The hands will come down slightly. You won't keep that crucifix or T-shaped position. Breathe in again, deep and hold for three. One, two, three, exhale. Good, that's a thoracic breathing. Then slowly recover, come back up to whites of the eyes time. Take the hands down to the thighs, no dangly arms, keep the feet where they are and keep them nice and straight, bicycle chain time. Okay, breathe in. Chin to the chest and gently push those palms into the legs as we dip forwards. The legs will stay straighter than normal because the feet are separated a little bit more. Fingertips coming down to the top of my foot. Now I said that about the knees. If you've got to bend your knees to keep those, those fingertips moving, then do so. Don't worry. Bring the fingertips now across top of the foot, in front of the big toe, fingertips on the floor. If your knees are bent slightly, that's not a problem, guys. You're all at your maximum. That's how we all progress. Chin to the chest, de-stresses the neck. Lats of thoracic breathing. Now think cat stretch. Push the back upwards. Good, we're liking that one, don't we? Feel the knees now, they're naturally going to want to straighten themselves up. You haven't got to think about it. I'm applying a little bit going to the rear. Big deep breath in. Exhale and recover. Slowly come back up. So picture that bicycle chain coming out a nice clean bucket of oil, brand new bicycle chain, undo it. Think in good posture. Shoulders are coming back. Imagine you string out the chest. Going up 45 degrees, looking up was 45 degrees, shoulders back, and be proud of yourselves, guys. Good. One more of those and feel the difference on the increase this time. Here we go, breathe in. Exhale, chin to the chest. Gently pushing those hands down the front of the body. That protects the back and makes us coil down. No stress on the lower lumbar. I'm at my shins, middle fingers now on top of the foot and moving forwards. And now at the big toenail, fingers on the floor, middle finger only touching the floor, chin to the chest. Doesn't that feel better? Looking good. Cat stretch. That's a thoracic breathing. Okay. Keep the eyes open for this one. Look where your left hand is. I want you to slowly rotate round until the other hand ends up in the same place. So left hand in front of the right toe. Slowly move it around. One knee's going to want to bend a little bit. Let that happen. I'll keep my fingertips just touching the floor and I hold that there. Think cat stretch. I'm there now. Okay, back the other way, all the way around. Nice and slowly. I'm at a reset position there. I'm moving past that. Fingertips gently touching the floor. Other knee bending slightly. That's okay. Left hand now in front of the big toe and I hold there. Think that's a classic breathing. Think 
You'll be able to catch stretch, keep the side going. Reset back to the start. Take the chin to the chest. Now put the right hand in front of the right toe, left hand in front of the left toe, back to normal position. Big deep breath in. Exhale and reset and slowly come back upwards, guys. We're working right down that spine, right from the base of the skull. I'm coming upright now. That is also fantastic for your cardiovascular system, your blood pressure, and keeping the internal organs going, guys. We're working out to in, in to out. Loving it. Take the hands up and out. Turn up breathing. Exhale down to the heart. Pause and hold. Good. Arcing the hands down, and we're going to slowly bring those feet up. Remember, any, you, no matter how comfortable you are in a position, you think, oh, this is good. Every position you get into becomes a stress position, all right? We have to keep, keep moving about. All right, pointy fingers. We're breaking this one down, white to the eyes, full concrete suit. Here we go, staring at each other like mad people. Inhale, exhale, and slowly taking that shoulder around. Hand, top of the deltoid, rotate the cuff, and I'm pulling it. And I'm trying to make a slide over without looking. Relax breathing. We know the breathing's a big secret here. Breathe in. Concrete jacket off. Turning, looking at the finger, and I pull and I rotate around from the waist now, keeping the feet nice and flat on the floor. No body weight distribution, in step to out step. Breathe in. Concrete trousers off. Skis on. Round we go. Go to the in step and the out step of those skis. Lean the feet over. That protects the knees. How far round are we getting, guys? Look at that. What we've done so far, front to rear. Now we rotate. Big deep breath in. One more. Can you get a bit more movement? A little bit, a millimetre. Remember, even if we can't, we think about it. The muscles are working. Slowly unwind that one. Bring it back round. And then rotate those arms around. So we're getting that spine done left and right, rotating forwards to the rear. Nervous system all started up, bringing the other pointy finger out, hand to here. Don't know about you guys, I'm feeling really. You know, you get a few things, I want to go out and spend a million pounds now. All right, you feel that happy. Here we go, concrete suit on, breathe in. Exhale, and round it goes. Looking at you, just taking the arm over. And you know what I'm going to say next, guys? you see mainly men in parks doing this elbow rounded throat, turning purple, and his mates saying, oh, good one, good one. No, it's not. Here we go, concrete jacket coming off, breathe in. Exhale, turn the head, look at the finger, and we rotate the one. Also notice, and you notice more in the mornings, because the digestive system's working differently, the body is different as well. When we rotate round, look how the waist and other body, parts of the body react. That's your core pulling the body in, getting nice and tight. Concrete trousers off, skis on, breathe in. Exhale, and round we go. And lean to the instep and out steps. That protects the knee joints. We're going to rotate those around. It's all about hips upwards. Oh, that feels good, maximum. And look at the balance you've got as well. Last one, breathe in. Exhale, we get it a little bit more. Oh, God. That's a classic breathing. Slowly unwind that one, guys. And as we come back round, let's rotate that shoulder, the arm around, get the shoulder going. I've done two, you can do three. If you need to, guys, you can stand there and do several more, that's okay. Hold the thumbs to the front, rotate them around, feeling good, and to the rear. Working the inside of the body here, let's come to the little bit between the ears, or my little bit between the ears, you've got quite a lot between, between yours. Hands to here, nice and relaxed. Imaginary string through the ears. Big deep breath in. Let the head go over to your left. So tilt the head over, and this is all control. Because the body does not like you just relaxing the head totally and let it flop over to one side. Mechanism that is there to stop the head doing that, to protect our lives, basically, moving the head over. Big deep breath in. Exhale. Now we get the gravity taking over. The muscles are going to relax. The head's nice and comfortable. You get a big stretch. That's going on that acronym process into the shoulder. Good. Take the hands now behind the back. Big deep breath in. Exhale. 
and look at that. We get a bit more of a stretch. Now let the head keep stay relaxed and gently push the hands down the back in that stand easy position. Just gently, just gently. Hold it there. Feels good, doesn't it? Take the hands to the side now. Now the side the head's tilted over to, lean over that way. Lean over. Join in the dots. Get to your 15. Big deep breath in. Exhale, slowly come back upright and bring the head up at the same time as well. Nice and slowly. One side of the body feeling totally light compared to the other. Let's balance that off. Breathe in. Exhale, hands back to the front. Move the head over to the other side now and you'll feel how that sudden neck, it just feels tighter. It's not, it hasn't been stretched out yet. It's not reacting any way it shouldn't. There. I got stretched this morning, the belly of my scalenes, the center of the muscles, if you like. So we'll talk about the belly of the muscle in the middle bit. Breathe in. Exhale. That's the one, isn't it? That's got there, the head's relaxing. Now you feel the stretch increase right from the origins under the base of the skull to the insertions into the top of the rotator cuff. Move the hands to the rear, stand easy position. Breathe in. Exhale, gently push the hands down the back. Just slide them down, not forcing them. You know, if I give it a score, 12. So I'm not working it to 15, sometimes we do. Move the hands to the side, breathe in. Exhale and lean over the side where the head's tilted to. Long arm going down the side of the body. We're not doing no teapot handles. Let the head relax, it's gonna go a little bit more. Breathe in. Exhale and slowly come back upwards, stand in position, whites of the eyes, hands behind the back. Now let's pick the spot on the ceiling and look upwards. Don't try not to lean back from the hips, it's all in the neck. Once you've got your spot on the ceiling, push that lower jaw forwards as far as you can. You're not making my voice go funny. Okay, on the exhalation, push the hands down the back. Breathe in, exhale, push the hands down the back, 15, push that lower jaw forwards, feel that huge stretch from the lower jaw to the top of the chest. It's a stretch that gets overlooked, guys. Two, one, breathe in, exhale, reset position, keep the hands there, whites of the eyes, now let the chin go straight down to the chest, under control, Switch off the rest of the body now. Again, this has got to be a stretch from the atlas down to the top of the spine. Inhale. Exhale. Let the head relax. You're going to feel that increase in the neck. Remember, this is fantastic. Those, when we get anxiety and stress in the week, and we always do, guys, it's not just normal life does that. This increases the blood flow and your oxygen to and from the brain. Helps keep you relaxed. There's a good one to do before you go to bed at night times. Two, one, breathe in. Exhale. We slowly bring the head upwards. Keep the hands behind us. Good. On the inhalation, pull the shoulders up towards the ears. Don't cheat and move the ears down to the shoulders. Breathe in. And keep the shoulders there. That's your thoracic breathing. Keep them nice and high as you can get them. Next exhalation, we're going to gently push them back down again. Breathe in. Exhale and push them down to about 12. Once you're there, turn your head to your left all the way around. Drop the chin over the shoulder. Keep the eyes open. Try and look behind you. Bring it back up. Round past whites of the eyes to the other direction. Drop the chin over the shoulder. Look into the floor if we can. Bring it back up, back round towards me, hands up and out. Turn them up, breathe in. Exhale, keep the hands there. Relaxed elbows, palms together, three second isometric push in, go. One, two, three. Relax it, bring the hands to the front, fingertips touching each other's noses, three second isometric push in, go. One, Two, three. 
Take the hands out to the side. Dinner plates on the fingers. Six, no, don't like even numbers, do we? Seven circles to the front. Up to your time for me. Here we go. So I'm front, bottom, rear, top. Front, bottom, rear, top. That's two circles. A bit of Pilates, guys. There. We worked all these muscles. Now we're getting there. We stretched, working them a little bit so they're going to like that re reaction. That's going down into your abdominal area, like in that one. Last circle coming up there. Now we're going to reverse. Just so don't want to screw the arms and make a horrible mess on the walls and the floor. There we go. There. That's nice and slow. Fingertips on the edge of the rim of the dinner plate, taking it around. Here we go. I've got two left, I think. I'll do two anyways. One. And two. Turn the hands up again. Big deep breath. Exhale down, elbows low, thumbs on the sternum, and hold that position there. Good. Go through your posture check, soft knees, 30% abs and pelvic floor, and hold. Two. One. Gonna arc those down, guys. All right, look at your feet. Keep them railway tracks, just slightly wider than hip width. We're gonna step forward four times. Gonna work this one this morning. Look at your left toenail. Step forward, put the heel there, one, and again, two, and again, and three, and again, and four. You go to where you're comfortable, Maria, okay? Even through the power doesn't matter. There, guys. Feet nice and straight, hands to the hips. Lead hip, focus on driving that around, guys. Nice big circles. Round we go. We're working down through the body. There. Lower back's loving it. Digestive system internally likes it as well. The B for balance. Alignment of the spine, engagement of the core. We're talking beat for all of a sudden. Round we go. There. Nice and slowly. Adductors. Inside the full, full 360, right around the legs. Knees, ankles. Keep the toes relaxed. Don't grip them into the carpet and rotate back around the other way now. And we unwind and look how that feels. We get that now. Round we go. Body works different. As my hip comes in, I'm feeling tightness. The next time I push it, I work it a little bit more. Keep it all to the 15s. Last one. Round we go, pause, and we hold and slide that foot back. Remember and picture, first time we started doing this movement a few months ago, when we got the four steps, it was like big stride. I'm getting a bit wobbly. Now we're in there. Other foot then. Get the feet right. Step forward. One, two, three, and a four. Feet nice and straight. Hands to the hips. Good posture. Any direction you want to, take that lead hip around. Round we go there. Oh, that's good, isn't it? Like that one. There. Some of you have known me for quite a few years now. We always have conversations, guys, about how people overcomplicate fitness and keep it nice and easy. Take it back around the other way. Round we go there. Good. Liking that one. So my right hamstring, a little bit tighter than the other one. Round we go. And that's right at the top on the insertion. The last one there, two and a one. Pause. Going to slide that foot back. Bring the feet now. So you imagine you've got your beam between your, your insteps, hands to the hips, and gently just roll forwards to rear. Roll forwards. No beam there. Three, two, and one. Now his heel raises up. Just straight up, feel that difference, straight up. So we stretch them, mobilized. Now we're working them. Done it right down through the body so far today. Good. Three, two, and a one. Hands up and out. Bring those feet out, nice and wide. We're not breaking this one down. In railway tracks, here we go. Hand to there, follow me along, breathe in. That foot to that way. And over we go, guys, long leg to the instep and reach forwards, reach forwards and hold. I'm about 12 out of 10. Let's take that to 15, breathe in, exhale and reach forwards again. Really pushing forwards like I'm trying to push a doorbell, but I just can't get there. I'll drop my keys down the drain and I just can't get there. It's a quarter, a quarter of an inch away. Breathe in. Exhale, reach forwards again. Work in this one today. Feel it increasing again. For a reset, breathe in. 
exhale and up we come. Nice arc to there, all the way down. Good stuff, fantastic. Bring the feet nice and straight again. Hold, other hand up nice and straight. Other side to balance it off, breathe in. Turn that foot that way, exhale and over we go. Long leg and reach forward to about your 12. Look how stable you feel, the balance. Inhale, exhale, pushing forwards, pushing forwards, pushing forwards, reaching, reaching, reaching. Good. Inhale again. Exhale. The keys are down the drain. Can we get the fingers that are a quarter inch away, guys? Okay. For a reset, breathe in. Exhale. Up we come. Nice big arc. All the way down this time. Bring the feet back straight me. And let's squish them in and come to a standing position and give everything a nice, gentle shake out. Roll the shoulders around, turn the head left and right. Take your own big deep breath in, hold for a second and gently release, guys. Bend the knees, good stuff. We'll go down to a tabletop. The camera's okay. I'll turn 45 degrees, it's a bit easier to watch me, isn't it? If we have to, hands to the thighs. Bicycle chain down to all fours, here we go. Chin to the chest, push those hands in and glide the body down. Like we're floating gently down on the control, hands on my knees, shins, curving down, fingers to the top for the feet. I'm walking myself out now. If you are ahead of me, it doesn't matter. If you're a little bit behind, it doesn't matter. We're not a synchronized dancing team. Okay. What is important now, keep the eyes open for now. Make sure the shoulders are above the hands and the hips are above the knees and look at the actual small amount of area the hands are separated by the knees. Very, very small. It's a cat stretch, guys. Breathe in. Exhale and push that spine upwards all the way. If you've got a hand injury or wrist injury, guys, you do this to your what you can and relax back down again. Don't try and hold it. We'll work through any type of pain barrier. Inhale, exhale, come back to a reset position. Stick the butt to the rear. Imaginary ice cold water in a saucer in the middle of your back and hold. One more cat stretch, breathe in. Exhale and take it up. Push it up, push it up, push your hips forward. Chin to the chest. Lateral thoracic breathing. Now then, get those abs to 100%. Pull those abs in, guys. You know what's coming next. Pelvic floor. Squeeze. 100%. Good. Relax both back down to 30. Big deep breath in. Exhale. And recover to a normal tabletop. Stick the butt to the rear. Neutral spine. Good. Let's de-stress those wrists then. Here we go. Forearms to the floor. We're going to do a child's pose. Keep the knees in the same position. Forehead to the mat or carpet. Big deep breath in. Exhale. And let those hips naturally sink to the rear. We're on the top of the feet, not the, not the toes curled under. Keeps the foot nice and relaxed. Get to your maximum hold. Big deep breath in. Exhale, and just let the body melt. We should be now able to actually, if we could, fall asleep and not roll over left or right because the body's switched off and nice and balanced. Now imagine somebody's hands are on your hips and we exhale next time, push through the forearms so the butt goes to the rear a bit more so it rolls backwards. Breathe in, exhale. And go and move it to the rear. So back to Pilates style again. It's working it, but it's pushing and rolling. It's open up the pelvic floor. The very lower back, which goes into the pelvis. Now relax. Just relax for two and one. And recover, guys. Back up to our all fours. Fantastic. And we'll come to a sitting position to here. While you're getting that sitting position, and the chair's good as well, I'm going to click this off. I don't like that. Good. 
because I couldn't see Bill. Here we go. Right, sitting here. Really important now. Let the knees go flat on the floor. Nice S shape in the spine, sitting tall. Okay, being nice and proud. Keep the legs nice and flat for now. Pull the toes towards the shins. You sat in a chair like Marie, you do it, pull the toes towards the shins. Leg as straight as you can, guys. Good. Hands up and out. Now hold that there, but you've got to be looking up 45 degrees. Keep that one there, really important. Turn the palms towards me. A sitting. Focus. Double boys welcome. Lean back slightly, but keep those legs nice and flat. And as soon as you feel the pecs engage, pause. Now you just fired up from your chest, right down through the abs into those thighs. That's what's activated, guys, nice and strong through the hip flexors. Come back up and sit up straight. Good. Turn the hands up, breathe in. Exhale down to the heart. Pause and hold them there. So let's relax those down. Heels slide in from long leg to about halfway. Bring both heels up to the halfway point and hold. Wrap the arms around those knees. Don't bring the insteps together. Look up 45 degrees and gently pull the forearm into the front of the knees and you'll feel the mid back working and you're pulling and increasing that S shape in the spine. It's like in that one. Two and one and relax. Let the feet go flat to the floor. Hold that position. Take them back at this one. You're going to feel very slightly from the hip flexor area, a little bit of imbalance there. That's okay. Rotate round to your left. Round we go nice and slowly. There. To your 15. And hold. Now breathe in. Exhale. And round we go again. Good. Breathe in. Round we go again. So we're gently working this this morning. Bit of yoga coming in. Inhale. Exhale, unwind all the way back around towards me. We get this position, turn the hands up and breathe in. Exhale down. Good. Squish the hands out. There. We'll take the other direction around. We go to 15. So we put the feet in that position because increased the level of difficulty because we're focusing on the balance. At the